Ever looked up at the sky and pondered why planes leave a white trail behind them? It's an intriguing sight, isn't it? These white trails that jets trace across the sky have a name. Contrails, short for condensation trails. As we embark on this journey of discovery, we'll unravel the mystery behind these trails and debunk a few myths along the way. Contrails are, in essence, the visible trails of condensed water vapor that form in the wake of an aircraft. But there's a lot more to this simple explanation. The formation of contrails involves a complex interplay between the aircraft's engine exhaust and the atmosphere. It's a fascinating phenomenon that combines elements of physics, chemistry, and even meteorology. Now, you might have heard some stories or myths about these contrails. Some say they're harmful chemicals intentionally sprayed by planes. But let's set the record straight. Contrails are not toxic. They're primarily made up of water vapor from the exhaust gases of aircraft. These stories of harmful chemical spraying are indeed nothing more than myths, unsubstantiated by scientific evidence. The formation of contrails, however, is not always the same. Sometimes you might notice that they're thin and short-lived, disappearing almost as quickly as they form. Other times they might be thick and long-lasting, lingering in the sky for hours. This variety isn't random but is closely linked to atmospheric conditions and can even indicate weather patterns. But that's a story for another scene. So, what's the real reason behind these contrails? How do they form and why do they differ in appearance? What role does the jet engine play in their formation? And how does all of this tie in with weather patterns and even climate change? Hold on to your curiosity as we delve into the science of contrails in our next scene. So, what's the real reason behind these contrails? Let's delve into the science of it. Contrails form due to a fascinating interplay between the airplane's exhaust and the atmosphere. Now, let's break down this process to understand it better. When an airplane soars through the sky, it leaves behind a trail of exhaust from its jets. This exhaust is hot and humid a stark contrast to the frigid, low-pressure environment at high altitudes. When these two meet, a beautiful yet intricate dance of science begins. The water vapor in the exhaust, confronted with the cold atmosphere, undergoes a rapid transformation. It cools down swiftly and condenses, making the invisible vapor visible as tiny water droplets. But the story doesn't end here. Given the freezing temperatures at such altitudes, these droplets quickly turn into ice crystals. And voila, we have a contrail. But wait, there's another player in this dance. The soot and particles present in the jet engine's exhaust. These act as a catalyst, accelerating the transformation of water vapor into ice crystals. Think of them as tiny platforms on which the water vapor can condense and freeze. The result of this complex interplay is the white, fluffy, ice-crystal-laden trail that we see stretching across the sky in the wake of an airplane. Contrails can have varying appearances from thin, short-lived lines to thick, long-lasting trails, influenced by factors such as the altitude, temperature, and humidity. In essence, contrails are a visible testament to the laws of physics and chemistry at work. They are a result of the interaction between the human-made technology of jet engines, and the natural conditions of our atmosphere. So the white trails that you see are essentially frozen water vapor from the aircraft's exhaust. Did you know that contrails can also give us clues about the weather? Yes, it's true. These white trails that jets leave behind are more than just an interesting sight in the sky. They can tell us valuable information about our atmosphere. Consider this, the nature of contrails can actually indicate weather patterns. You see, when you spot thin, short-lived contrails, they suggest that the weather is likely to be fair. This is because these contrails are formed in a drier atmosphere where the water vapor quickly returns to a gaseous state and disappears. On the other hand, if you see thick, long-lasting contrails, it's a different story. These contrails are a result of high-altitude humidity. They linger in the sky because the surrounding air is saturated with moisture preventing the contrail from evaporating quickly. This can be a hint that there may be potential storms on the horizon. But wait, there's more. Ever notice the wavy patterns or rings that sometimes appear in contrails? This phenomenon is known as the crow instability. 
Named after its discoverer S. Crow, it's an interesting spectacle that occurs when vortices in the mixing gases of contrails interact. These vortices cause the contrail to twist and turn, creating visible wavy patterns and rings in the sky. So next time you spot these patterns, you'll know that it's not just a random occurrence, but a display of fluid dynamics at play. To sum up, contrails are more than just exhaust from jet engines. They are a window into the conditions of our atmosphere, providing us with clues about the weather, and even teaching us a thing or two about physics. So contrails are not only fascinating to look at, but they also serve as a weather indicator. Contrails, surprisingly, have a role in climate change too. Now you might be asking yourself, how on earth can those slender white trails in the sky impact our climate? Well, recent research has presented some intriguing findings. Contrails, it turns out, contribute to global warming by forming ice clouds that act somewhat like an insulating blanket in the atmosphere. Quite a fascinating revelation, isn't it? Let's delve a little deeper. When airplanes jet across the sky, the hot, humid exhaust from their engines mixes with the cold, low-pressure air in the upper atmosphere. This interaction causes the water vapor to condense and freeze, resulting in the formation of contrails. These contrails, composed of tiny ice particles, can linger in the sky, forming ice clouds. Here's the interesting part. These ice clouds have the ability to trap heat radiating from the Earth's surface, preventing it from escaping into space. In essence, they act as an insulating layer, contributing to the greenhouse effect and consequently global warming. Now this doesn't mean we need to panic. It's important to remember that this is just one piece of the complex puzzle that is climate change. The impact of contrails on global warming is still a relatively new area of research and scientists are continually working to understand the full extent of their effects. So, what does this mean for us? Well, it highlights the importance of ongoing research in this area as understanding these effects could play a crucial role in our efforts to mitigate climate change. It also underscores the need for continued advancements in aerospace engineering, aimed at reducing the environmental impact of aviation. So, the next time you spot a contrail, remember, it's more than just a beautiful sight. It's a scientific marvel with implications for our weather and climate. 